Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's iSight here, and today we're back with quite a big video. Today we're gonna be doing a fun tier list. It's gonna be very, very enjoyable. I hope you guys would like it. And if you if you do like the video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Also, cough the merch. Link in the description. It would mean a lot to me. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, so first of all, we're gonna be rating this off. There's gonna be like four categories. There's gonna be S tier, A tier, B tier, and then F tier. So the S tier, of course, is like really, really good. The A tier is like A, but then S like like A plus basically. And then you know B is average. D is like, and that's kind of bad. And then F is like really bad. And there are kind of like some secrets in this update are really bad, and um, we can go over it. But like, we'll go over it in a sec. All right, let's get right into it. If you guys want to do this tier list yourself, the link to it is in the description. If you don't like my opinions, then you can make your own version of it and post it. I'm pretty sure. So we can look at community, community, community's ideas of what the best secrets from this new update are. All right. So first of all, we start off with the Archangel, which I believe is the worst secret in the Holy Egg. So this is one in 10 million. Now this secret's okay. I don't really like the way it looks too much. I believe I actually have one in my inventory. Let me check. Yes, I do. Let's unequip all. I equip this. I haven't actually checked it out that much. Let's. Okay, so it's decent it looks like a sunday champion actually i never actually looked at it on its own it actually looks pretty cool okay i i never i looked i only look at the picture of it i'm recording lol so that's the archangel it has a really cool thing on the top kind of reminds me of the wyvern so no you know I, I like it i like it we can put this in the b tier i actually thought it was a lot worse than it was so we can put that in the beer b tier as the first one and it makes sense because the value is mad the man's average and it's dropping but the look of it's pretty nice and um the rarity of it's average so it's it's a pretty decent secret next we have the christmas bell or the chrysler bell as i like to call it on stream but i don't believe i actually have one i traded for one today but like, i don't have one in my inventory at the moment so big sad but the secret's okay. The value is like really bad right now. I still put it in D tier, and there's another secret in here that I'll also put in D tier, but we'll see that in a sec. All right, so next we have the Christmassy robot. I actually made a video on this, and it's a really, really good secret. I tried to trade for it today, but I don't think they really want any of my secrets, even though I have pretty decent secrets, but they just didn't want it, any of them. So, whatever. But, um, too bad for them. But that the Christmassy robot was pr is pretty good. I like it. I will put it in the A tier. I don't think it's S tier material, but it's really good. I, I think the mythic one is S tier, but the the normal version of it is an A tier. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good spot for it. Next, we have the gingerbread shard, which I actually have two of them. So we can check these out right here. Oh, wait, let me unequip my pets. So we have two nice gingerbread shards. These are them. They look pretty nice. They're pretty simple. I had a shiny gingerbread shard at once, but the value is pretty bad. So the fact that these pets have been hatched around 85,000 times is kind of worrying, but you know, they're pretty decent pets. They're good in bubbles. So if you ever want to grind for a pretty easy pet that has decent bubbles that can get you to like, well, like 3 million bubbles pretty easily, I would definitely grind for these. And they're great on a bubble team if you don't have very good bubble pets. So I like them. They're pretty good for that. But other than that, they're not really that good. I mean, the value is decent. You can use them as an add. They're about like 60 value each. So if you're trading for like a bigger secret, if you have lots of these and they're pretty useful, um, combined with other things like Beach's plaques or dice splits. So I would definitely do that. And they do look a lot better as an easy secret. Um, you can tell they're an easy secret by like the lack in time they, it took to be designed, but they're a lot better than the, um, the King Slime and that's all that matters. So, you know, I'll put them in a seat and I'll put them in D tier. I think that's a good spot to put it, and it'll go right next to the Christmas bell. So the next thing we have is the Morning Star. Now I have mixed feelings about the Morning Star. It's one in three million. The value is kind of, eh. um, but it's funny to see that it actually is. I think it's less rare than the Christmas bell, but people are already valuing the Christmas bell less than the Morning Star. Now I had one a bit. I don't think I have one anymore. I don't believe, but I, I think I actually had one a little bit. Let me go check my trades. Do I have one? Nope, it's not even in my recent trades. But, you know, it's a pretty decent pet. I think I'll put it in the B tier. Or maybe, yeah, I'll put it in B tier. It's decent. It, it goes next to the Archangel. And I, I like it. It's pretty decent. So the next thing we have is the Obscure Entity Plushie. Now, I actually have one of these. Now I can check this out. Wait, do I have it? Yeah, all right. 
I, I haven't actually checked this one out yet. I think I checked it out with someone else, but I haven't looked at my own. Now, I know one the, the mythic one is, like, T-posing, so that's really sick. But, it's, uh, okay. It's kind of, Isaac's kind of, like, you know, chubby, not gonna lie. But, I mean, the plushie's okay. Um, there's nothing too special about it. It's definitely, I used to really like the silently one, but honestly, I've come to, I've come to like this one a bit more. So, I think this one is going in the B tier, along with the Morningstar and the Archangel. I think that's a pretty good spot to put it. Now, next thing we have is the Peppermint Leviathan. I don't even think I've been able to check this one out. Yeah, I haven't, this is the one secret of this new update that I haven't checked out yet, so... Alright, so this is the Peppermint Leviathan. I've seen some videos about it, and it's really, really good in bubbles, I believe. Let me go to... I already know, I don't believe. But, um, the pet's really good. So, I'm gonna say... We can put it in A tier. Wait, actually... You know, we can put it in S tier, actually. It's, it's the king of the whole update. It's the best secret in all. I think it's actually is 180 million, so it's double the rarity of this, so I think it'd be better to put it in S tier. So it, it gets its true trueness in. It can be happy. Now we have the hat. Now this hat's actually one of the best hats in the game. I think it might be the best hat. I actually haven't really been grinding the hat egg at all, but I actually didn't even know the stats until before I started this video. And then when I looked at the stats, I was like, what? Those are the stats for that thing? The stats are so good, guys. If you're looking for a really good pet with stats, I mean, I mean, hat, you definitely need to go grind for that. And I'm actually going to be grinding for that right now. So, wait, right, where is it? Where even is it? Oh, it's over here. So, I'm actually going to grind for it. And it's actually only 1 in 1 million. But with luck, which I actually have, and hatch boost, it's going to be really easy. So, I'm actually going to grind for this. Hopefully, we can get it. Um, and, yeah, we'll be doing that while we record. So, the next one. Oh, actually, we can actually put this. So, I'm going to put this anywhere. So, I'll say, since it's a hat, I'll put it in D tier. But it's one of the best hats, so it can yeah it can give a detail, but it's actually pretty good. So I'll keep it there. Now the next thing we have is the Cersei Fender plushie, which in my opinion is the best looking plushie. I just think they put the most like effort in and made it look the best. And I just like the Cersei Cersei Fender look a lot more than the other ones. Like the obscurity is like really plain, and then they tried with the style only, but the um the whole character just didn't go well. I don't I don't I don't really like it that much. Um. So, I'll put the- Oh, my dog's here. Here. I'll put the Cersei Fenner in A tier, because I really like it. Come on. Oh, what's up? I to I gotta take over the cook on a walk. Go. Want to say hi to this drink? Here, say hi, say hi to the video. Hey, guys. This is Coco. Yeah. She needs to go out, so I'm gonna be right back. One sec. Two thousand years later. <sighs> it was actually a really nice time rocking my boys. It was really nice. All right, back to the tier list making. So, we are on the Soulflake, which is actually one of my favorite secrets. So you can probably tell where it's me going. <sighs> that, it was actually really nice out and very sunny. So, let's continue. So I actually traded for a snowflake, and first of all, this is my favorite secret of the update. Ever since I first saw the first leak of it, it was just really, really cool. I traded for it, and then I traded for another one, and I traded it away, and I got a W, actually. So it was a pretty good trade and all, and it was pretty worth it. I actually just traded away. I'm pretty sure I traded away pretty recently. I don't know if I still have it. Let me see. I still have it in my trade menu? No, I don't, but I did trade it away quite recently, so... Um, it was like a, it was like 20 trades ago, but it was a very very good pet and I really liked it And the stats were great. So I'm gonna put this in S tier along with Pepper and Leviathan That's just my opinion since it is one of the best secrets in the update And then we're left with the silently plushie Which was one of my favorites in the beginning until I actually got one and I looked at it and it was hideous And I was like what is that thing that is hideous and I was like wait I don't like this anymore I'm sorry silently plushie You're going in F tier all right, so this, this is my beautiful, very, very nice tier list. How much you think? I really like it myself. Um, I think, I think it's pretty good. I agree. I agree with this tier list. If you guys agree with it, please do tell me what you think I should change or, you know, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And before we actually end the stream, of course, because 
we have to, before I end the video, we have to tell you guys. Don't forget to become a member of the channel. It means a lot to me. There's over like seven people that are now members of the channel and all of, they, all of them are amazing people. And do you want to become amazing like them? Well, these are the people right here. And become a member, it would mean a lot to me. And also buy the merch, link in the description. It's only five Robux, and it helps out me a lot, and I can get give you guys free Robux out of it. So it's a win-win for everybody. And you can actually win the Robux by joining our group, link in the description. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.